written in stone. You may have heard that something wasn't written in stone, meaning that it was not firmly fixed, not permanent, open to change. You don't have to tip if you get bad service. It's not written in stone. You might explain to a friend from overseas while eating out. Perhaps your friend wants to start her own business but is afraid of leaving her career because she's almost 40. It's not written in stone that we have to reach a certain point in our careers by a certain age. Sorry, it's kind of written in stone that kids can't stay up past 10 p.m. You might be explaining to the kids you're babysitting. As is plain to see, if something is written in stone, it's fixed, firm, irreversible, or unalterable. The idiom written in stone is usually used in the negative sense, however. We most often hear that something is not written in stone, changeable, unfixed, open to negotiation. Written in stone comes from Judaism and Christianity whose followers believe that a man named Moses received the Ten Commandments from God written upon stone tablets. For followers of these religions, the ten principles relating to worship and ethics were not only literally written in stone, but are also metaphorically so, meaning that they cannot be changed, altered, broken, disobeyed, or ignored. As you grow older and become more mature, you will realize that the rules and laws of the human world are not written in stone, whether they pertain to social, religious, governmental, or civil matters. In opposition to the laws of nature, the rules, laws, norms, and practices of evolving human societies change over time and are often challenged by individuals that have experienced unjust, unfair, wrongful treatment. Natural laws are also challenged as humans collectively gain a better understanding of the universe through science. Our ancestors would have never fathomed humans in space. Really, nothing is written in stone, but you can certainly use the idiom for emphasis or comedic effect. Sorry, you can't come into my room. It's written in stone. A teenager might say to her kid brother. Perhaps you're considering not continuing your education and your dad says, it's not written in stone that you have to go to university. You can always try something else and consider it later. It was never written in stone that women had to take care of the home. It was simply the result of biology, your anthropology professor might say during a lecture. Accordingly, the next time you want to challenge people's assumptions, let them know it's okay to do something or give yourself an excuse. Make sure to say, it's not written in stone.